Very good. So do you see the auto blow and sex robots somehow merging into something greater at some point? Yeah. You know, the, the, the media loves sex robots because they're outrageous, oh, but sure. I don't, I don't think there's any future in the next like decades, at least in these humanoid style of robots. People hmm. don't really want to have sex with a robot person. It's bizarre. I mean, it's like having sex with a corpse. Okay. Like, I mean, even if you make it its mouth kind of talk to you or whatever, it's not, it's like a dead person. So there's a very small group of people who, who more buy those kind of dolls uh, for like more companionship reasons, which I can understand because you know people are different. So I understand the companionship ex, you know, um, aspect, but on the mass market, it's just not a convenient thing to own you know, a human-sized thing that needs to live in your closet. So I think that the growth is really only going to happen on devices like ours. I think devices like mine will get better and quieter and maybe smaller, maybe even bigger, depending on what they can do. But the doll market will always be there and there will always be people kind of trying to put robotics and dolls into the same sort of category. But I don't see it for at least my lifetime becoming a product that most people are interested in just because it doesn't do anything back to you. It's not Westworld. 